Welcome to another TeamFlick tutorial. Today we'll be going over the feedback module in its entirety. In this video, we will cover the following areas. How you can use TeamFlick to give and receive feedback, how 360 degree feedback works inside TeamFlick, as well as how you can ex access TeamFlick through the user page, ongoing meetings, and Teams chat. Let's start things off by going over how TeamFlick users can give and receive feedback. Here we are inside the TeamFlick dashboard, and if we scroll down, we will see our latest feedback right here. If we click view all, we will head over to the feedback module, or we can go to the left sidebar and click feedback. Let's do just that. This brings us to the TeamFlick feedback module, and we're currently under the received feedback tab. Here we have all the feedback we received separated by the people who gave us the feedback. Let's go into the feedback we received from Sarah. As you can see, it has been neatly arranged thanks to one of the feedback templates inside TeamFlect. On the right side, we can see the details of that template. Let's close this particular feedback and scroll back up and explore some of the other tabs. If we head over to Given, we will see all the feedback we gave to other people. And under My 360 Degree Feedback, we will see all the 360 feedback cycles we participated in. And the My Team section is for people leaders to manage the feedback within their team. Now, let's see what it's like to be creating a new feedback. We're clicking New Feedback, and we have two options. We can either give feedback, or we can ask for feedback. And we can do this about ourselves or on behalf of someone else. Once we're here, all we need to do is pick one of many TeamFlect's incredible feedback templates. And these templates are fully customizable. TeamFlect admins can click right here to customize existing templates or create new ones from inside the admin center. We don't want this feedback to be about ourselves. Let's ask for feedback on behalf of someone on our team, and let's pick the team member. Once we do this, all we had to do is decide who we're asking feedback from. We can either pick someone from our organization or an external user, someone outside of our organization. Let's take a quick detour. If we pick an external user, they will receive this in their inbox. All they have to do is click Give Feedback and go through the feedback template. Once they put their answers in, all they have to do is click Submit. Now, let's go back to TeamFlect. Once you pick who you're asking feedback from, you can adjust the visibility of the feedback and click Request. Let's move on and talk about how 360 Feedback works with TeamFlect. We're inside the 360 Feedback tab, and we will be doing this through the perspective of the person receiving the feedback, the subject of the feedback, Benny. We have three sections here, self-assessment, feedback providers, and result. As the person receiving the feedback, we first need to fill out the self-assessment section. We have different question types here, multiple choice, open-ended, or rating questions. And under Feedback Providers, we can see all the feedback Benny received. And as you can see, Benny has received feedback from his manager, Sarah. This is all the information about Sarah's feedback and the template Sarah used. And if we scroll down, we will see feedback from Benny's direct reports, subordinates, Hakan and Janet, as well as Benny's peer, Jessica and someone outside of Benny's organization, Adele, as an external user. Let's move on to the next tab, Results. This is where we can see everyone's answers together. We can see Sarah, the manager's answers, right here. And if you have multiple feedback providers, this page will also give you the percentage in which their answers were dispersed between different options. We can see the response from Benny's peer and the external person right here as well. If we scroll down, we will see an analysis section. And below that, we will see an AI-generated summary of the feedback Benny received. To start a new 360-degree feedback, we need to be an admin. And if we are, we can head over to the TeamFlict Admin Center. Now that we're here, we're going to need to go to Modules and then select Feedback. Once we're here, we need to scroll down and select Create slash C 360-degree feedback template. Then we're creating a new one. First, we need to give it a name. Let's just call it 360 degree feedback and give it a description. Once we're done, let's move on. 
This is where we decide what will we be asking for. If we want to include self-assessment, we should toggle this on and select the feedback template. If we want to include feedback from peers, then we should toggle this on, select the feedback template, and then select the number of feedback providers, both minimum and maximum. Once we select this, we can adjust the visibility of the feedback and decide how much of the feedback we want the reviewee to be able to see. Once we do the same thing for the rest of the sections, we can click Start and Automate. This is where we will be giving our feedback cycle a name, decide how we will be picking feedback receivers, toggle AI Summary on if we want it to be a part of it, and click Start. That about wraps it up for 360 degree feedback. Now let's take a look at some of the other ways you can interact with feedback inside TeamFlect. Let's head over to, the, to someone's user page. We're going to search for a user, let's say Hakan. And then here we are in his user page. We will be scrolling down from the right side of the page and we can see all the feedback Hakan received right here. We can click show more to expand the section. We can summarize the feedback Hakan received with AI right here, or we can give him some new feedback. If we go all the way back up on a user page, we can access some of the meetings we have with Hakan. And let's head over to a one-on-one -on -one we have with him. From inside the meeting page, we can click new feedback and we can either give Hakan some feedback or ask for feedback about Hakan. Pick a template and click send feedback. Pretty straightforward. We can also access feedback through Teams chat. We're going into our chat with Janet. We're clicking the plus icon and then selecting TeamFlect. Once here, we will click the little ellipses on the top right corner and then selecting new TeamFlect feedback. And this is an all too familiar screen by now. We're selecting who we're giving feedback to, selecting a template. Let's say this one is a presentation skills one, and we're putting our answers in. Once we're done, all we need to do is click Submit. And to see the feedback we just sent, we, all we need to do is head over to the feedback module. But that brings us to the end of our tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact the TeamFlict support staff. Team Flect. Build teams that deliver.